Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Just Cards today. Today is a day that my team and I, all we do is just make nothing but cards. So I thought it would be a perfect time to make a Christmas card. So I'm going to show you everything I am using. Um, I'm using some oldies but goodies for this one. I'm using my thank you frame, the thank you and frame dies, which comes with this cute frame die. And there's a thanks and then there's a little thank you where it dies on that. But we're not using the thank yous. We're just going to use the frame. And then we're using my favorite, the Big Santa dies. Okay, we're using all of those dies there. And then this is back in stock. I'm super happy. This one's the December 25th stamp set. And the one we are using is from our family to yours. And then people always ask me about the... Um, the like if I have the actual... like the the full package of the pattern paper I use, I'll show it to you, but if I don't, I can't because sometimes I just like keep the scraps um, that I have that actually left have left over. So the paper, the pattern paper I'm using today is by, now see I'm not sure if this is the brand because I'm not really familiar with this, but I just really love the patterns. I got it from scrapbook.com and I'm using this one here. It's like a little gray with the little cute little Santa faces in the background and this is called Kringle and Company. Um, I think this is the brand of the paper. I'm not 100% sure, but if you look in the back, it's from 2019, so it's from this year, <laughs> which is odd. I did pick up a few Christmas and Halloween this year so because I, I needed to because I was definitely running low. I was rationing my stash a lot. Okay, so here we go. Isn't this super duper adorable? So that is the little pattern paper, and I and I love it because it has double stitching on this frame, and it's super cute. So we are going, and I, and I debated on using this one in the back, but the other one was just a little bit more brighter, and it was adorable. So I, I said, you know what? Let's go with the other one instead. Oopsie. Yes, I do put a lot on here because I want to make sure when the recipient receives my cards that they do not fall apart. So that explains the lots of adhesive and I've always used lots of adhesive. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try, oops, let me kind of take off this little thing there. Got some on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna try and line this up the best I can. It's just a standard size. This is um, paper from Paper, the card sock, the white card socks from Paper Tray Ink. Um, and this is a standard A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, but if you open it, it's 11 by four and a quarter. And you just score it at five and a half, and that's what makes your standard size card. Okay, so before we do anything else, we are going to go ahead. Here goes the adorable little Santa beard, and the little, I'm going to pop this up, but I'm going to need this as my guide because I don't want to stamp near that. So, so I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and just stamp directly onto the actual, um, to the beard. Now I'm just going to go ahead and give this a little quick test stamp, which I like to do all the time because sometimes when I, I use the, the, um, I use something I'm not supposed to use sometimes to clean my stamps and sometimes there's like a little hair or something on it. So that's what happens sometimes. So. Um, I always like to do a little test stamp just to make sure there are no little hairs on it. So that's why I do this. Okay, so because if there is, I'm going to have to take it off. I just don't want it to ruin the actual good piece of uh, cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp that right here. This is from our family to yours. Just like so, and that's beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I am going to go ahead... And I popped up the little mustache here, so let me take off the little tape behind here. Okay, I like to pop this up because I think it looks super adorable. So we're going to go ahead and just pop this up right here. Oopsie. There we go. Love that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are um, going to go ahead and put a whole bunch of little pop dots on the back because... I actually ran out, what happened to my pop dot? I ran out of the regular size pop dot, so we are going to have to go with the tiny ones, which 
Let me grab them really quick. I kind of misplaced them. Let me grab them real quick. Okie dokie. I found the pop dots. So before we do that, we are going to go ahead. Now there is stitching on the hat. I'm not sure if it comes up in the camera or not. It's just because I forgot you can't really tell too much on the glitter paper. Um, but there is stitching on there. So we are going to go ahead and I'm just going to use some glossy accents to hold this down. Because I know glossy accents will hold this down for sure. Okay, so... Kind of go ahead and just straighten this like that. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put that little flower, I call it the little flower, or the little pom-pom on the little hat there. It's a little off, but that's okay. Okay, and that is going to go like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just take off all of these little backings here. I did put a lot, like I said, because they're the mini pop dots because I ran out of my larger ones. God, I can't believe I had like a million of them. I, I ordered these because they're always sold out every single time I try and get them. So when I did see them in stock, I ordered like a whole bunch of them. And I actually went through all the white ones. I can't believe that. And I wasn't sure. I do have some black, the regular size black ones, but I since this is all white, I was afraid it might, you know what I'm saying, look a little bit dark on the outside. I don't know. I guess I could have tried it, but that's okay. Okay, so one more left. So we are going to go ahead and put this. Oopsie. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just put this on like so. kind of want to put it on a little diagonal there. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take all of these off. I did put a lot, like I said. But it's okay because at least I know this card is going to stay together forever. So I'm going to get these off. Um, it felt good to actually make a Christmas card. I don't think I've... I don't know if... Did I make a Christmas card even during the... Yes, I did actually. But I really wanted to put this little guy, these little big Santa dies, on a Christmas card because I... I knew it was going to look adorable. The last thing I made with this, I'll go ahead and I'll show you. And I noticed a few of you picked up the money envelope die yesterday um, from the one, the project that I made. So if you have these dies already, you could go ahead and put it on this cute, isn't this so cute how it fits perfect on there? And the for you die actually is from the holiday envelope die, which is one of those right there, one of these word dies. That's where I got that from. Um, so I just thought I should throw that out there because that's the last time I used that die and I love, super love this die here. The little Santa one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm just taking all of these off really quickly. Hold on, let me see. My nails are so short. My unmanicured fingernails are so short so it's, I'm having a hard time because I cut them really short and I haven't had a chance to do them yet but that's okay hopefully this weekend so that's why I'm having a hard time getting these off okay finally we got them all off there so we are gonna, just going to go ahead and just put this on here oopsie just like that and there you have it, a super duper adorable card. I was going to do some shading on here, but you know what? I'm not. I think I'm just going to leave it alone. But let me see. I feel like, hold on. I feel like I need to add. Um, gosh, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to use this little heart. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. I have this on my table from yesterday. And I think I'm going to put the little heart on the hat. Why not? You know what I'm saying? On the white part on the hat. Why not? I think everything should have a heart. 
Oh, that's so cute. That just gives it that little extra special touch, okay, everyone? So that is it. That is my card for today. Um, don't forget to head on over to my blog at um, www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. Um, and that's it, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.